So now I'm ready to draw my initial graph. I've decided that height, because it goes up in even increments, I've decided which values I'm going to choose there. That's my independent variable, and it will be plotted along the x-axis. The average velocity is my dependent variable, and it will be plotted up the y-axis. I want to make my graph large so that I can clearly see and plot values and read information off the graph if I need to. Uh, so my velocity goes from about 3 to about 8.5. So I'm going to start off here. And I think if I go up in two, two big squares for each one value, that scale should fit the page reasonably nicely. And to use most of the page, my height goes up um, from 0 0.5 to 3.5 or thereabouts. So if I use four squares for every one whole value, that should use up most of the page. <clears throat> So this is my average velocity, and it's going to be measured in meters per second. And this is my height, and it is measured in meters. And I'll label my zero. One, two, three, four. five, six, seven, eight, and along here I've got one, two, three, four. So you've got to make sure there's even increments, and you want to avoid doing jumps of three squares to each one unit, say, because then it can become quite difficult at times to work out exactly where you're going to plot values that lie somewhere between that unit of one. So double check, I've got my labels, my units of measurement, and I'll include a title. Okay, so to plot my points, my first point is 0 0.5, and my average velocity is 3.14. I'll use a cross to show my point clearly. And at 3.5 meters, 8.3. I should have been maybe a bit more careful about where I put my title. Now, I'm not sure if that represents a straight line or a curve. So at this point, I might decide I need to go back and sample another value. And if I do that, I would pick, I might, I might not go up in another increment of 0.5, I might, as I would state in my discussion, go back and use a value that's somewhere within this range of 0 and 0 0.5 meters. And depending on where that lies, it will show me very clearly whether the pattern is a curve or a straight line. And so when I do that, I find that uh, for a height of, say, 0 0.2 meters, my average velocity might be around about 1.98. And so at 0 0.2 meters, which is here, I've got a value of just below two. And so that helps me see that this is a, a distinctly curved line. And so I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna join those um, points with a pencil and get me the, the approximate shape of that curve. And when I'm fairly happy with that, if I want to, I can go over it and pen 
remembering it's not a join the dots exercise it's just the line showing the trend that's, that's there so that's my first my initial graph and now I can use this to show me to determine the relationship between average velocity and height and so I might write down here average velocity is proportional to and the shape of this graph suggests to me that it might be a square root relationship so it'll be the square root of h for height and so now I know that I need to go back to my data and do a bit of processing and then I'll be ready to draw my linear graph